Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about changing colors in Photoshop. And this technique can be used to change the color of clothing. It can be used to change the color of anything. So let's get started. There are a couple of adjustment layers that we're going to use to make these color changes. And the first one and the most powerful one is the hue saturation adjustment layer. If you just click on this once, it will open up a new hue saturation adjustment layer above our background. And I have the color wheel up here because I want to show you exactly what this adjustment layer does. First of all, we have a lightness slider. If we slide it to the left, our image turns to complete black. If we slide it all the way to the right, the lightness goes to pure white. We'll put it back in the middle. Here's our saturation slider. The saturation slider obviously takes color out of the image. If we turn it all the way down, we have complete gray. And if we turn it all the way up, we have obnoxious colors. So we're going to leave it right at zero. Now, here's the cool thing. The hue slider changes the hues of our colors. So watch what happens as I move the hue slider around. The color wheel spins. When we adjust the hue slider, it changes all of the colors in our image by rotating the color wheel. So look at the top of our color wheel. Right now it's red. If I push the slider to the right, it's going to push more yellows where we had red. And if I keep going, it's going to push green into where we had red. If I go the opposite direction, there's our red at the top again. If I move it to the left, it's going to push pink into our reds. And if I keep going, it's going to push blue into our reds. Okay, so here's a gentleman wearing a blue shirt. We want to change the blue shirt. So I'm going to make a hue saturation adjustment layer. Click on that once. And if I move the hue slider, you can see that it's changing the color of his shirt, but it's also changing the color of his skin. Now, unless you're, you're creating Martians, probably not an effect you're going to want to get. So we need to target the adjustment to just the blue colors. If you click on master, it's going to show the different colors. Let's select blues. Now when we move the color wheel, anything that's blue is going to change according to the color wheel. So we can change it to purple, we can change it to pink, we can change it to green. If we want a more saturated green, we can turn the saturation up or we can turn it down, we can turn the darkness lighter or darker, whatever we want. Okay, so here's a high school senior we shot at our studio. We're going to change right now and change his blues to a different color. So I'm going to click on the hue and saturation adjustment slider and I want to come down to my blues. Now Photoshop right here is showing us what it thinks blue is. And I want to make a more targeted adjustment so I can be assured that it's selecting the correct shade of blue. So I'm going to click on this eyedropper right here. And I'm going to bring it down and click his jeans so we get a nice sample of blue. Now I will come up and move the hue slider and watch the color of his clothing. So obviously more green this way. We shift it the other way. Goes to purple, magenta, and so on. If I wanted it more saturated, I could turn the saturation up. If I wanted it brighter, I could turn the brightness up. And see how natural everything looks. His belt buckle is still gold. His belt is still black. That's because those items don't have any blue in them. We're just targeting the blue areas. So that's how you change the color. Now, what happens if we wanted to change a color to black or to white? There's a neat adjustment layer just for that. To do that, we're going to use our black and white adjustment layer. Typically, this is used to convert images or layers to black and white. But we're going to change the blending mode. If we want to change something to white, I'm going to change the blending mode to lighten. And if I want to change something to dark, I'm going to change it to darken. So let's start with the lighten first. I'm going to turn all of my colors all the way down. And I'll show you how this works. So look at the reds at the very top of the color wheel. As I move the red slider to the top, it changes anything red to pure white. Take a look at the greens on the right side of the color wheel. 
as I move it to white, changes anything green to white. And we're gonna change his blue shirt to white. So I'm gonna click on the black and white adjustment layer and I'm gonna set the mode, the blending mode to lighten. Now, it's adjusted his skin quite a bit. All of his skin color is in the reds and the yellows. So I'm going to take the slider and move it all the way down. And now our skin tone is back to normal. Now watch what happens when we move the blue slider. As we move it closer to white, it changes his shirt to white. And we can get even a little bit brighter by increasing the brightness of the cyans. Now, see how it keeps all the wrinkles in his shirt and keeps everything looking natural? So here's before and after, before and after. Now let's make his outfit black instead of blue. So what we'll do is click on the black and white adjustment layer. Instead of lighten as the blending mode, we're gonna change it to darken. Now you can see obviously the background and the skin are very discolored. So in the red channel, we're gonna turn that all the way up. Same for the yellows, now we're back to normal. And we're gonna take the blue slider and slide it all the way down pretty close to the bottom. Now look how natural that looks. Um, all the stitching hasn't been affected. His belt, his belt buckle hasn't been affected. Here's before, after, before, and after. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you.